Unit 7, Lesson 8, Writing and Graphing Inequalities. Number 1. At the book sale, all books cost less than $5. A. What is the most expensive a book could be? The highest price a book could be would be $4.99, since all the books cost less than $5. B. Write an inequality to represent costs of books at the sale. All books are less than $5. C. Draw a number line to represent the inequality. Here I've drawn a number line and I have labeled $5 and I have an open circle right at $5 with the arrow pointing to the left, meaning all books are less than $5. Number two, Kieran started his homework before 7 o'clock p.m. and finished his homework after 8 o'clock p.m. Let H represent the number of hours Kieran worked on his homework. Decide if each statement is definitely true, definitely not true, or possibly true. Explain your reasoning. A, H is greater than one. That would be definitely true because he started his homework before 7 o'clock and finished his homework after 8 o'clock which is more than one hour. B. H is greater than two. That's possibly true since he worked more than one hour and we don't know what time after eight o'clock he stopped. It is possible that he could have been working longer than two hours. C. H is less than one. That's definitely not true because he worked from before seven o'clock to after 8 o'clock, and this is for sure over one hour, so it is not possible for him to have worked less than one hour. D. H is less than two hours. That's possible. It would depend on the start time and the end time. Number three. Consider a rectangular prism with length 4 and width and height D. A. Find an expression for the volume of the prism in terms of d. 4 times d squared, or 4d to the power of 2. b. Compute the volume of the prism when d equals 1, when d equals 2, and when d equals 1 half. When d equals 1, it would be 4 times 1 to the power of 2, or 4 times 1 times 1, which is 4 so the volume would be four units to the third power, or four units cubed. When d equals two, it would be four times two times two, which equals 16. So the volume would be 16 units to the third power, or 16 units cubed. When d equals one half, it would be four times one half times one half, which equals one, so the volume would be one unit to the third power or one unit cubed. Number four, match the mathematical statements with the statements written in English. All of these statements are true. A, the absolute value of negative 12 is greater than negative 15. That matches with three. The distance between negative 12 and 0 on the number line is greater than negative 15. B. Negative 15 is less than negative 12. That matches with number 5. The number negative 15 is less than the number negative 12. C. The absolute value of negative 15 is greater than the absolute value of negative 12. That matches with statement number one. The number negative 15 is further away from zero than the number negative 12 on the number line. D, the absolute value of negative 12 equals 12. That matches with statement number two. The number negative 12 is the distance of 12 units away from zero on the number line. E, 12 is greater than negative 12. That matches with statement six. The number 12 is greater than the number negative 12. F, 
the absolute value of 12 equals the absolute value of negative 12. That matches statement number four. The numbers 12 and negative 12 are the same distance away from zero on the number line. Number five. Here are five sums. Use the distributive property to write each sum as a product with two factors, a, 2a plus 7a. The common factor is a, so I'll pull the a out and keep it on the outside of the parentheses. So it'll be a times 2 plus 7. b, 5z minus 10. The common factor here would be 5. So I'm going to pull the 5 out and have it on the outside of the parentheses. 5 times z minus 2. Because 5 times z equals 5z. And 5 times 2 equals 10. Or 5 times minus 2 equals minus 10. C. C minus 2c to the second power. The common denominator is c. I'm going to pull out the c, put it on the outside of the parentheses. On the inside of the parentheses, I'll keep 1 minus 2c because c times 1 is the same as c and c times 2c is the same as 2c squared or c times minus 2c is the same as minus 2c squared. D, r plus r plus r plus r. I pulled out 2r as the common denominator with 1 plus 1 on the inside of the parentheses. So 2r times 1 plus 1 because 2r times 1 is 2r and 2r times the other 1 would be 2r. So 2r plus 2r would be 4r. There's a wide variety of ways to set this one up. I just chose this one. E. 2x minus 1 half. I pulled out 1 half as the common denominator, so 1 half on the outside times 4x minus 1, because 1 half times 4x equals 2x, and 1 half times minus 1 equals minus 1 half. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 7, Lesson 8, Writing and Graphing Inequalities. <laughs>